Whether we are aware or not, time is always moving. Seasons change, day turns to night, and definitely time does not stand still. Hi, I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and today we're beginning with a project that in fact does not take that much time. So we are gonna be making these really cool, they could be purses, they could be pouches, whatever it is you want, it's a zippered bag. And it all starts with cork fabric. Now, if you're not familiar with cork fabric, it is actually made from cork, but it it is fabric, meaning it bends, it sews, you can wash it, and it actually feels a lot like leather. It comes in a wide variety of colors and finishes and even sizes, so you can make really, really large items. On my mat here, I have a piece of cork fabric that's been cut to nine by 13. Because it's bigger than a traditional electronic cutting mat, which is 12 by 12, I'm having to use this really large mat. And I wanna show you how to change the settings in your machine when you wanna use a 12 by 20 mat. So right under the wrench tool, I can go ahead and simply choose 12 by 24. And just like that, this is ready to go at that big size. So then I can say, okay, I've already selected the cut file that I want and start. So that's going to go ahead and cut out for me that cork fabric. Now again, when you're cutting any fabric, you always want to use a high tack fabric support sheet to make sure that that really sticks to the mat. But when I'm done, I'm going to have something that looks like this. It's an absolutely beautiful cut out rose. So we want to put a zipper into our pouch and I'm going to go through kind of how we lay out the zipper. So what you want to do with your zipper is make sure that it's longer than your inside or lining fabric. And I wanna point out that this is a batik, meaning both sides are the right side. And that's really important for this project. Then I'm gonna take a pin and I'm gonna pin the lining fabric so that the top of the lining fabric and the top of the zipper match, okay? Then I'm gonna take my rose and I'm thinking about how it's gonna flip because I want the right sides together. And I'm gonna put it down face down so that the right side of this is facing the right side of the zipper. Then I'll pin it in the middle through all three layers. And then I'll simply move these pins so that they also pin through all three layers. And that's how we create our zipper sandwich so that we make sure that we get it placed exactly where we want it. So now it's time to head to the sewing machine. So one thing that's really important is when you're sewing a zipper, it's great to have a zipper foot because what this foot will do is ride along the zipper, making it really, really easy for me to get a perfect, really close to the zipper stitch line. So all I do is place my foot down. The needle is gonna come down right in the hole in the zipper foot. And I'm gonna be able to now just glide along the edge here. And even through this thick material, I can't, don't have to worry because the zipper foot is essentially feeling where the zipper is and giving me that nice, clean edge. So this is really easy sewing. You just have to make sure you pull, pull your pins out because you don't wanna sew through those. But otherwise, it's so much easier to sew in a zipper than you ever thought. It's something that I thought was gonna be really hard but I promise you, it's not. So now I'm gonna take this over to an iron and I'm simply going to iron it so that both sides are flat. And you can see what it looks like now when you flip it like that. So let's head back to the table to look at our next steps. So like I said, I would go ahead and iron this. And when you do that, you can see everything flattens out really nicely like this. So then my next step would be to add another, I still have the zipper in the original orientation that we had, another piece of backing fabric behind, another piece of cork fabric on top, stitch that, and then I'm gonna have something that looks like this, right? I have the zipper running down the center. I have two pieces of cork fabric. I have two pieces of lining fabric. Now, I want to change this so that I have the two pieces of cork facing each other and the two pieces of lining fabric facing each other. I'm gonna pin all around here and then I'm gonna stitch, just using a regular straight stitch all the way around except you wanna leave a gap open so that you can turn it and you also want to open the zipper. That's really, really important. Make sure that before you do any stitching, oop, the zipper's on this side, that you actually pull the zipper open 
then go ahead and sew. So I have one that's already like that right here. And what I'm gonna do now with my opening is I reach my hand in and I'm going to sort of carefully pull this on out and we're turning it we're turning it the other way. And you can see, you know, you can use a stick, you can use something else if you need to push it, but you can see that that cork fabric is very pliable in the same way that any leather or fabric would be. And here we go. Very cool. And you can see, you know, you can use a stick, you can use something else if you need to push it. So I'm just gonna keep pushing and pushing until I get the shape out. Now some people use like a chopstick or a little stick or something to poke the corners out. Whatever it is that you want to make sure that it's square. And I would take a little bit of time with that. Then all you need to do is just go ahead and stitch this shut on the sewing machine. Nobody will ever see it. You don't need to hide the stitches or anything like that. You're going to tuck it into the bag. And of course, once you've actually pushed everything and creased it out, you'll see that you can zip it up and it's gonna look very much like our finished bag right here, which is super cool. So let me go ahead and grab the piece that we cut because I wanna make sure to show you that. You can see that all you do is unload the mat and if I carefully pull this away, you wanna be a little delicate because the cut here is actually very, very intricate. So I'm just sort of pulling gently away in a circle around the rose design. And now I'm going to carefully make sure that I take all these little tiny cuts and make sure they come smoothly off the mat. So take your time with it, don't rush it. And certainly you could use these extra pieces for something else, but look how cool that is. It's delicate and it's beautiful. And you can see that you can make it a variety of sizes. So obviously we made a larger one, but you could also make a smaller one. And remember cork fabric comes in lots of different colors, or you can even do something super custom where you put your name on it. And how about if there's a message on the back of the bag that has a little bit of a sense of humor, which I think that this one does. So I hope you'll try this project. It is easy. It doesn't take a lot of time.